Hi, welcome back to our journey of an engine video series. In the past episodes, we've shown you how the engine is being inducted, disassembled, cleaned, inspected and repaired. But what does it exactly take to make sure we have all the parts available for subsequent assembly? Well, we're going to show you. Right this way. Right after this assembly is completed, the material streams are divided into three individual streams. Internal repair into our SR Technics Center of Excellences, external repair by carefully selected vendors, and material replacement if the part is deemed unrepairable. The goal is to have all three material streams come together at the right time for subsequent quality checks and assembly. Im Wareneingang prüfen wir jede eingehende Sendung nach folgendem Schema. Zunächst werden Paket entladen und nach Herkunft dort vorne sortiert. Das gesamte Material, welches für die Triebwerke instandhaltig einkommt, wird in folgende Ströme eingeteilt. Neue Teile, reparierte Teile, Kundenmaterial, überholte Teile, Verbrauchsmaterial oder Rohmaterial. Auch Einzelteile, die wir vom Händler über die Motorenwerkstatt reparieren, und gehen nachher wieder zurück. Darüber hinaus verarbeiten wir auch Verbrauchsmaterial und Rohstoff, verarbeiten, die für die Wartung der Triebwerke und der Teile bei uns benötigt werden. Noch etwas zur Statistik. Wir haben bei uns pro Jahr 70'000 Frachtbriefe, 130'000 Pakete, und 11 Millionen Bewegungen, die wir durch das Jahr durch verarbeiten. Das macht mich sehr, sehr stolz. Once the parts have been sent for external repair and the exact need for replacement material has been defined, our material and repair purchasing specialists are managing the entire supply chain until the material is back on site. On average, this can amount up to 5,500 parts per engine. The right material, at the right time, at the right place. All the time. Here at Inspection, the qualified and certified inspectors are inspecting every individual part for correct amount, configuration and certification verification. This involves every single part that goes back onto the engine. The number of checks performed in order to guarantee that all the maintenance is carried out correctly and according to customer specification involve over 350 individual fits and clearances for engine and module assembly, over a thousand different modification standards, over 550 different modifications for the core engine alone. And this involves over 6,000 individual parts, accessories and modules. This takes dedication, precision and a keen eye for quality. So how do we manage this entire process? By using Lean Continuous Improvement. Lean Continuous Improvement philosophy teaches us to provide perfect value to the customers, delivering our services within the highest quality, at lowest cost and in the shortest lead time. We support employees to develop their skills and capabilities through lean trainings enhanced with case study activities guided by our lean agents. 
By implementing lean continuous improvement philosophy, we have been able to achieve reduced warehouse capacity of over 45%, increased productivity of over 65% on our advanced coating stripping, decrease of non-value added time of over 40% by introducing a first-in, first-out concept for cleaning and inspection. So here we are. All the parts have been inspected, repaired or replaced according to customer specification with the right amount, the right time, the right configuration, verified and certified with Swiss quality. So join us again next time when we can show you how we turn this into this. <laughs>